to all the viewers, this is Aroma Dish making a comeback after a long time. And today we are going to make Malaysian's favorite dish, which is chicken sambal. Let's get into it. Starting off with a simple step and an important step, which is to fry our chicken. Make sure your chicken is cleaned and cut in any size according to your preference, which is big or small. Definitely before frying our chicken, it is very important and a very vital step which is to marinate our chicken. So for marinating process, we need ginger and garlic pounded, turmeric powder and chili powder and also salt. Put it all together in a right amount and mix it all together. After marinating, let's get into frying now. So for frying, obviously we need a wok which is filled with oil and set your stuff into a medium heat and start frying those chickens. We need to fry them until they turn into a golden color so that we know that the chicken is delicious. Just take a look at our fried chickens which are mouth-watering but we are still not done yet now it's time for us to get ready to make our sambal for sambal we need sliced tomatoes onion and ginger and garlic pounded which is resulted into paste after preparing our main ingredients now let's get back to our stuff again which we need to set into a medium heat now we are going to start off with one cinnamon stick a cardamom and an anista. Now we are going to put our onions all together which we have prepared earlier and make sure to put a, the right amount of oil. Too much oil can be oily of course and it's not good for health obviously. So make sure the oil is in the right amount and sauteing is an important step in cooking so keep on sauteing. Now our next ingredient is our garlic and ginger paste. Mix them together and keep on mixing. As you can see our onions have resulted into a slightly brown color and now we have to proceed with our tomatoes. The presence of tomatoes is very much needed for our sambal today because tomato offers a thickness to our sambal and of course it's very flavorful and most importantly it offers a sour taste. Now, the beautiful step which is we need to add our chili paste and this is a homemade chili and chili paste is also available in many stores out there. After adding our chili paste, keep on mixing them with all of the previous ingredients that we put into our wok previously. So as you can see, we can already sense the fragrance of our sambal and even the wok is heating up because of our delicious sambal today. Now we are going to add some water into our sambal and make sure to add the right amount of water to avoid it from being watery. Mix it all together and let our sambal to boil for some moment. Now we are going to add some lime leaves which is also known as limam purut in Malay where lime leaves are mainly for the fragrance of our sambal and it's a known fact that lime leaves can help to reduce our stress so with our dish today you can reduce your stress and together with your hunger. Now 
after letting it boil for some time then now we are going to add tamarind pulp after mixing them all together let them boil for some time Now we are going to add some sugar to add sweetness for our sambal today and sugar can be added according to your preference. Now after sugar we are going to add some salt. Well salt is an important key for our dish. Obviously many dishes it can make the wholesome of every dish. Mixing is the key so keep on mixing. And now lastly, proceeding with our fried chicken. Get all those fried chickens in your wok and start mixing them evenly. Let it boil for some time but not too long and just keep on mixing. So without any doubt, for today's dish, which is chicken sambal is definitely mouth watering and obviously a side for our sore eyes. So make sure to try it and leave the comments in the comment section below. Please like the video, subscribe to our channel and share it. Thank you for watching.